Thanks for joining me today. I'm Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'm going to be answering some of your most commonly asked questions about the Intuos Pro. Does the default surface of the Intuos Pro eat nibs? It does. In fact, my nib wore down noticeably on one side during a single drawing session. But that's just par for the course for these non-screen tablets. Either the nib has to wear down or the tablet surface has to wear down. Which would you prefer? Nibs are replaceable, but in most cases, your tablet surface is not. Because the surface of the Intuos Pro has a paper-like texture, it does wear down nibs faster than a tablet with a smoother surface would. The advantage to that is that you're drawing on a surface that provides friction. This feels more natural, like how it would feel to draw on paper or canvas. More friction is a good thing. It can actually stabilize your lines. So you have to know what you're getting into when you buy the Intuos Pro. If you don't see the surface texture as being an advantage and you prefer a more slippery feeling surface that will wear down nibs, but at a slower rate, then you have a few options. If you choose the medium or large version of the Intuos Pro, those have an optional texture sheet which offers a smoother surface to draw on. You could also get the entry-level Intuos, which has a smoother surface, or you could get a Cintiq, which has a glass screen that you draw onto. But let's say you want the Intuos Pro. Is there a way to keep the nibs from wearing down as quickly? Absolutely. Here are a few things you can try. If you're like me and you press down really hard when you draw, one thing you could try is to press more lightly and set your pen pressure to respond to a lighter touch. Blending, shading, and erasing are really what wears the nib. I think anything that builds up heat for a long period of time is going to cause the most severe wear. If your art app supports it, you can shade, erase, and blend using the eraser end of your pen. Just like the tip of the pen, the eraser end supports 8000 pressure levels, and it works great for large brushes that don't need the precision of a fine tip. That will really save your nibs. On that note, you could also avoid doing pencil shading and instead use airbrushing, which still gives a nice gradient, but without as much friction on your nib. Moving on to the next question, is the Intuos Pro small too small to draw on? I'm going to say, no, it's not too small to draw on, but it sure gets uncomfortable. My hand started to cramp up in the middle of a short painting. So I would say it's probably an okay size for doing light drawing, where you're going to be taking a lot of breaks. And it might even be fine for doing coloring or detail work on a larger piece. But a larger drawing area is going to be so much more ergonomic if you're going to be doing any more than that. I did find that using the new Wacom Pro Pen Slim made it feel like there was just a tiny bit more room because the pen is not as bulky as the regular Pro Pen 2. The next question is, how reliable is Bluetooth for drawing? Bluetooth uses radio waves to send the signal from your tablet to your computer. So if that signal gets interrupted through interference from other radios around you, which a lot of other things use Bluetooth, or maybe a physical object like your computer is inside your desk and your tablet's on top of it, then there's the potential for your connection to be laggy. If you have your Intuos Pro sitting right in front of your laptop and there's nothing interfering with it, then the connection's gonna be pretty good. But ultimately, the USB connection is going to be the fastest and the most reliable. And the final question is, how smooth is the touch input on the Intuos Pro? I would say overall, movement is smooth when you're using touch, but it does feel a little bit hard to control it sometimes. It really depends on the app since touch input is often controlled from within the software that you're using. So those were some of your frequently asked questions about the Intuos Pro. Check out some of my other videos about the Intuos Pro coming up next.